Yes, I'm Steve Irvin. And I'm Katie Rammel, an Arizona woman fighting for hope, fighting to save lives. She is speaking out in support of a resolution that would allow terminally ill patients to have access to drugs not yet approved by the FDA. ABC 15's Navita Forgani is live at the Capitol. And Navita, this sounds like it was a pretty emotional plea today. It's an emotional plea, stories that would just break your heart. Now, it's a story of hope in this case that ended with a loss of life. Tracy Cantor spoke about the bill that's known as Right to Try, which would give patients that are terminally ill, terminally Ill like her mother, a second chance, buy them more the time or even a chance to survive. But it's a story that tugged at the hearts of the Senate committee that voted to push this through to the Senate. I want the Senate to listen. Tracy Cantor is traveling from Tucson to the Capitol to make her voice heard. But this journey is much easier compared to the one that ended two years ago. Very much a roller coaster. A ride that started with her mother, Tony, in 2005. So it was Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and she had gone for the free exam. And uh, they said they saw something. A small mass in Tony's left breast. We knew we could fight it. But as the years progressed, she had lots of different chemos, radiation. Things weren't getting any better. The cancer spread to her brain. The only option the doctor had was a clinical trial. And he had mentioned it in 2009, um, hoping that by the time. It, that she would still be around by the time it was approved by the FDA. But it was too late. I think if it had been available, at least she would have had a chance. A chance that is no longer possible for Tony. I think of all the things that my mom is missing. But Tracy is hoping her mother's story will give others a fighting chance. Hope isn't a expectation of something perfect. Hope is just the reason to keep on trying. And you can see Tracy Cantor right there outside of the Senate celebrating with other advocates of the right to try bill. The Senate committee again passed this vote or passed this bill. It's going to push it through to the Senate. And if the Senate passes uh, this right to try bill, it's going to head right to the voters so they can vote in support of this measure or vote against this measure. So it's again a small victory for these advocates who are fighting for other survivors. Yeah, see? it's certainly not hard to see her point of view after what she's been through. Thanks so much, Navita. Similar laws are making their way through the legislatures in other states, including Colorado, Louisiana, Missouri, and additional states have shown interest in drafting this type of bill, including California, Massachusetts, Oklahoma, and Utah.